everybody, welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald, and uh, we got something happening today. We are bringing in a storage building to store stuff in. So uh, follow along as we. There's Jonah. This is Jonah. Hello. And he's recording stuff. All right. Yeah, let's, let's get this, if we, yeah, if we can, we, yeah, like a four, three foot, maybe. Three foot, okay. I'm guessing uh, it's only like eight feet wide, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, it'll be, it'll have another four foot between there, I think, so. Okay. Enough, enough room to get through. Yep. And then how far? Uh, I'm thinking, you know, like the front of it right here. Okay. Even with the yeah. Okay. All right, very good. All right, I will get it down in here. All right. <laughs> All right, party peeps. So the building got delivered. It's on the ground right now. Yeah. He is loading up his mule. Well, let's take a look at the new building we got. Go open the door. All right, so we are preparing for a major weather event here. It's going to be like minus two degrees in some areas of the state. Uh, and we're going to have like minus 20 wind chill factor. So what we're doing to prepare for this, especially for our livestock, is one, we set up some wind breaks on the chicken coop. Or the, the actual chicken run so they can still get access to outdoors but during the night when it's super cold we are uh, keeping them inside the coop we don't put any lighting inside the coop or anything like that no heat lamp fire risk now nah, we're not gonna deal with that chickens natural body heat is usually around a hundred degrees already so they're a little like little heaters now we are going to be doing this one thing we're going to be feeding them high cal uh high uh um excuse me we're going to be feeding them uh, a high calorie diet uh or you know more carb we're going to actually be giving them a lot more carbs than they usually eat uh we're going to be feeding straight some straight corn 
uh, to them that will help them during that time. And it's going to be fed to them right before bedtime. Bedtime is when we go out there and tell them all oh, it's time to go to bed. Uh, so we are going to be feeding them, you know, straight corn uh, right before bedtime. So they have a lot of calories to burn off, if you know what I mean. So that's going to help them. Also, we're using the deep litter method inside the coop. They have about five to six inches of uh, wood shave, pine shavings, and manure there. And that manure is actively composting, which creates heat. So that's what we're doing to prepare. Uh, we did make some wind breaks around the, um, the run area. So during the daytime, they can come out if they want. Now, for Miss Piggy, what we're doing is we are setting on her pallet, her pallet, her pallet palace. <laughs> In her pallet palace, we are uh, putting some uh, sheet, uh, uh, wood sheeting on the side and back of it. Uh, so take a look here. There's some plywood sheeting right there at that corner. This is the this is the northwest corner of her pallet palace. And that's some old T111 that we actually did make the part of the chicken coop out of. Uh, but in this northwest corner, we are we put the sheeting to help protect her from the wind. We're also going to be giving her a whole hay bale for her bedding. Say hi to Miss Piggy. Hi, Miss Piggy. She's not interested in you. Something tells me next week she's going to be very interested in me and Jonah. Right, Miss Piggy? Right? Alright. Alright, so the last thing we did was also add a tank, a stock tank heater to Miss Piggy's water tank that will keep her the, the water nipple from freezing. And also for the chickens, we have a plate heater for their water. So that helps keep all the water flowing for all the animals. On over here. All right, so wind chill is getting down to uh, the 20s right now. I think it's 30 degrees outside right now. We're already below freezing. Where you at, Jay? So, um, we got our new storage building installed. Where you at, Jay? Oh, he's hiding over there. Let me, there he is. All right, so we got the new storage building in, and uh, we've already started loading stuff in it. Uh, and we just gave the chickens a whole bunch of corn uh, that will help them tonight. As they metabolize that corn, uh, that create heat. Loaded the boiler up. Got Miss Piggy her bedding earlier. You saw that. Uh, and uh, did a number of other things on the homestead today. I want to thank you for joining us. Please remember to like this video. Give it a big what? Th th thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and ring that notification bell. And follow us along our journey of homesteading in Walston, Oklahoma. Thanks for watching.